Yeah, you know, there's something to be said for the for the head-to-head -head setup. Yeah, for sure. But there's also something to be said for the side-by-side, -side, mm -hmm. you know? I like the side-by-side. -side. I like that kind of interaction that you have with your opponent. Ah. I'm so used to it. I've been playing it that yeah. way my whole life, you know? Well, you know, the third strike snob in me says that head-to-head -head is far superior <laughs> so that nobody can... So that the entire match takes place within the game. Yes. Instead of partly in the game and partly outside yes. of the game. That's one of the hardest things about transitioning from online to offline is you don't have any of those skills to pick up on feeling the warmth of your opponent next to you and picking up on those little things. Mm -hmm. You don't have that talent. and so, Empty buttons. Yes. And so if they have that ability and you don't, they have a distinct advantage over you. Oh, nice right. sweep from Christian. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he just does it. That's why we got the meter, boys. All right. Always have to pay attention to that meter. Such a key thing to notice. Clip's still in it, though. I mean, maybe... Ooh. Oh, there. Uh -oh. That's so key. Uh -oh. And he blocked it. Is that going to uh -oh. kill? And it does. Great made safe crack. jump. Great safe jump from Christian there. Getting the block on the Tiger uppercut. And punishing with the spinning pile driver. Oh, that's punishable. I like using the EX Tiger Shot to get him as far away as possible. Nice. Uh-oh. Well, let's see if Z... Oh. using his meter that time. Great um, stuff. Oh. Yeah, right, standing there around just doesn't do enough damage. It's annoying, but if, as Zangief, you can get hit by a couple of those and be okay. Oh, no. Oh, through again. Z is really testing his reactions. And Christian like, has answered every me. time. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think that... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh <laughs> my gosh. Klim takes it pretty convincingly over Z. Z not quite sure what happened right there. Uh, Gamer B and the rest of the team Southeast Asia having a discussion about who should go next. When, when they were playing against USA 2, Justin said it was such a big deal that he managed to defeat Vangief because Vangief can take out almost the entire rest of the team. Mm. You have characters like Sakura and uh, Gen, you know, who are always trying to get in your face. Yun always trying to get in your face. Really, honestly, Gamer B, Adon is probably the best choice for this, but they probably want to save a Gamer B for Anchor. No, that's not even necessarily true because Shin can do it as well. I think Gamer B is the only choice to send up right now. Oh, they're going to send up Shin. Wow, they're going to just throw Shin up there right now. Mm. They're going to throw Shin up first. Shin, of course, you guys know from winning uh, Street Fighter 4 singles yesterday, very convincingly against Mago. Winning his first major outside of Singapore. Yep. Doing so in spectacular fashion oh, with Gen. Yeah. Oh, defeating yeah. Mago in grand finals. Ridiculous. Mago had reset the bracket, but then he managed to pull it off at the very end. And it looks like uh, both of these guys, deep in thought, having a little meditation session. Wow, Neither of these guys texting their girlfriends. Yeah, neither of them looking at notes or anything. They're just sitting there, kind of checking it out. The stage of battle is set. Let's get started. Fight! <laughs> Has this it really? Has it though? <laughs> this is a, this is how you fight Zangief though. You've got to be super patient against him. You've got to make sure you don't open yourself up. All right, so he's got a little bit of lead right here. Get those. Uh, the 100 hand slap. 
Uh -oh. oh, nice. Oh, interesting. Uh -oh. They're fading him out. Big damage right here. Okay, just building meter, not even bothering with anything else. Getting the hard knockdown, doing a couple of waterfall kicks to build meter, yep. and that should be able to finish him off. Oh, yeah. Last Smart kick. play by Sien. Get the meter, more important than trying to go in too hard against Zangief and get put into a bad situation, you know? Yeah, and that all last... It takes, yeah, all it takes is one, uh, you know, EX uh, SPD, you know, to get out of trouble. And that last hit of the waterfall kick, I believe they gave him a huge meter bonus for getting the roundhouse waterfall kick. Oh, really? Yeah. So good that he killed him with that as well. It's interesting when you see the, the tweaks that are made uh, from the different versions and what the developers are trying to tell us, so to speak, <laughs> by uh, what they nerf and buff. You know, like if you get an extra damage bonus on, uh, extra meter bonus on the last hit of the roundhouse uh, waterfall kick. Like they're saying, we'll find more ways to use this thing. Right. Shin went in a little hard in the corner over there. That's what allowed Christian to get that back dash into SPD. So Shin probably thinking to himself, okay, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now not going to try anymore. I'm just going to kick back. Yeah. Why? Why risk it? I mean, both of the both teams are in uh, losers final. Uh, excuse me, in the losers bracket. And yeah, Team Southeast Asia has got uh, some ground to make up. Clem has been doing very well for himself uh, the entire uh, the entire tournament. Oh, but now that should be it into yep. Ultra, and that's gonna take right. it. Commentator's curse. Yep. Boom. All right, tough break. All right, now, goes down. finally, we get to see some of the rest of Team Canada. <laughs> so now we're going to have Lap Chi, the HNIC, behind Canada Cup going up against Sien. Let's get started! Fight! Chi, of course, is gonna be playing Blanca. He's recently been doing pretty well for himself. Uh, got the... Uh, Got the uh, won his spot on the team at uh, T13 not too long ago. Very solid Blanca player. Lapshi told me once that uh, he actually had a breakthrough. He was, um, gosh, he was reading this book. I believe, um, or maybe he went to a he went to a seminar. Who went uh, to a seminar? Uh, Lapshi went to a seminar, uh, a John D. Martini seminar, and I guess had some breakthroughs, not just on a uh, personal and business level, but also on a street fighter level. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Ask him about that later. He'll tell you. Oh, nice jump back from Shin. Yeah, I mean Lapshi was always pretty good, but after that, like he really like stepped his shit up. Oh, good stuff. I need to go to one of these seminars. Then. Right. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, there you was, go. That, was that an unblockable setup? I'm not sure. It's uh, always so hard to tell these days, yeah. you know? There's unblockable. Anytime they don't block it, it was yeah. unblockable. <laughs> like what, you never seen that before? <laughs> that was unblockable. What do you do? Like when a guy just gets hit from the front like that, you know, it just it just seems so odd to me. Yeah. Actually, I think Lapchi, from what I recall, was the one that gave Sien the hardest time. Not the hard, but one of the ones in his pool that gave him the hardest time. Nice. Okay, oh, there's that. Dude, no Ooh. one has been able to block Lapchi's oh, EX Rainbow Blanca Ball. It's hard. Uh -oh. oh, no. Careful trying to build that, that meter. And I mean, Blanc is just one of those characters that's just so good at like getting the random hits in and just like just throwing you for a loop. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm. 
Oh, oh wow. wow. Barely got that. Here he's going to get all the hits of the waterfall kick. See what he sets up here. Oh, wow. Just a meaty from the front, but he missed the strong and the strong link. That would have been the round. But nice. it looks like Sian's got this one under control. Yeah, Lap might just want to build some meter. Ooh. Punch him in the face with that stab. Crouch fierce. Good stuff. <laughs> no one hitting start to advance the next round. It's letting it go there naturally. Nice stuff. Linking low jab into Stan Fierce. Going for the, oh, he was looking for the quick rise. Lapchi didn't fall for it though. Ooh. Look for the empty rainbow ball in the throw. Now looking good for Lachi here. Lost half of his life pretty early in the round. Oh. Oh, shenanigans hop into up ball. Oh no, Shin dropping that Gen combo. And then Lapchi going for a Hail Mary level three and Shin with the EX waterfall kick. No timing necessary, just mash buttons. Now Sian's just gotta, you know, just chill, chill him out. Yeah. Yeah, that focus attack was super dangerous for Lap Chi. Obviously, no more life left to absorb anything. <laughs> Good stuff to Lap Chi. He took one round. And now they're setting up Josier to go up against Gen. That's right. Canada's favorite son. Josier, the MVP of last year's Canada Cup. For sure. So Vega going to have the ability. I mean, the, the, the nice thing about Vega, we saw it in the Fei Long match. He just has the ability to outpoke pretty much, I think, every character except for maybe Dalsum, you know? So again, a character with that Crouch Strong, Stan Ford, so effective. Apparently, Crouch Strong is better because I always remember Stan Ford in a hand was super effective for Gen players. But if you watch nowadays, all Gen players have gone to crouch strong in the hand slap. Mm. So I don't know if it's because it has further range or if it's because it actually shifts Gen forward more so you get more hits of the hands. Not exactly know, man. sure, but most of the players use that button now. Maybe we need to be playing Gen, James <laughs> I used to play him in vanilla for fun. Really? Yeah, just for a, just a little bit because I just love doing stand forward in the hands. So it's just like... Like doing that a lot. It's the battle of the century. Right, here we go. Shin going up against Josier. The fight is underway. Uh oh. Nice. Beats the anti air. Yeah, you gotta be careful that jump fears from Vegas. A really good priority hitbox on there. Not sure what the Scarlet Terror was there for. Oh, oh he no. crouched in between. Forgot about the two hits, and there's that safe jump setup that Shin has for Gen. Oh, wow. and he got a crumple. Okay, but this time he goes for the full thing. Nice block from Josier, and Josier runs all the way back to get his claw. Uh -oh. Nice. And knocks the mask off. Not a good situation for Vega. Ooh, that should have been it, but it's okay. Shin's not in a bad position. He still has this round very much under control. Oh, here we go. Huge wow. opportunity. Safe jump set up. Oh, and he goes for empty jump throw. But great tech from Shin. And then an air to air. Thank you. Oh, Oh, damage, damage. Oh, going for a safe jump setup. And then he goes for the throw. And I don't know which way to block that. Going to go into super. Waterfall kick should be able to do it. Yep, wow. last hit. Sian showing why he was the one to dominate everybody in singles yesterday. Yep. And for a second there, I almost thought that waterfall kick wasn't going to kill. It started looking like that magic pixel in Marvel. But right. All here right. comes CCG Air going up against Shin. Oh, 
going up against Xian. Are you ready? Fight! All right, so the winner of this is gonna go up against Team Korea. Team Korea probably has a very strong chance of making it all the way through the loser's bracket now. I would imagine that the favorite team would have been whichever team won between Korea and USA won. And uh, Korea was the one that took that one. Yeah, unfortunate for Team USA. Sien studying the artwork of his stick very carefully. I didn't even know they made yellow Quanbas. That's a good point. I mean, they probably have all sorts of different colors in Asia, I would imagine, maybe. I'm not sure. Here, here we go. Very classy. Oh, that's air stick, too. Yeah. Air, one of those very scientific technical players, oh, yeah. studies all the matchups very, very carefully. Yeah, Air has, he's got a really great blog. Uh, AirRyu.com, I believe is the URL. Check that out if you're a Ryu player, even if you're not a Ryu player. It's really, it's very rare um, that you see top players, uh, you know, that can also like write and, you know, share information yeah. like that. And that's really one of the great things about Air too, is he's so willing to share all that information and help people. Like that one, oh, yeah. remember that one EX Hurricane Dalsum, anti-Dalsum trick in the corner that he had? Yes, that actually thing. you can check that out on the Cross Counter Guide to yep. Ryu featuring uh -huh. Air on our YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, some sick stuff. And Shin, oh he's gotten back in but he missed it. Didn't quite, wasn't quite close enough to get the close fierce. Ooh, nice. He's getting that little bit of damage is all he needs. Air having a very, very hard time getting in on Shin. That low strong and the hand slap so effective. Ooh. Ooh, runs right into the low index finger. Simply standing before to wish What are you talking about, old man? It's very I mean, one of the things that makes Ryu really powerful is this Footsie's game. He's low forward, he's low strong, low roundhouse. But right now, it looks like Gen's low strong is outclassing Ryu. Look at that. Oh, what a bait. Got him to come out with a low kick, countered it with punish with his low roundhouse. Air has not been able to get any momentum going up against Shin at all. He's just been kept at that distance of that low strong in the hand slap. You see, Shin's not even trying to get in. Even when he got that focus block, it's very different than the last match. Whenever he blocked the focus, he would dash in. In this round, he just dashes out. He's not even worried about it. He it's says, you know what? I'll play the zoning game all day. Ever, ever since I first met Sam, dude, it's like, dude, this guy is one of the best in the world. Oh my god, he hit confirmed that from so far away. Oh, great block from Air. He recognized which mode. Again, was in when he jumped. Oh, man. That EX roll now mu comes out much faster and I believe kind of tracks to the distance of the opponent. Last chance for Team Canada, uh, Chai Rithi. Well, you know, he's got a tough road ahead. Even if he beats Sien, he's going to have to go up against Human Bomb and uh, Gamer, Gamer B, B and Kaiser. See, all those matches are winnable. The hardest one is going to be Adon. I think Adon really zones Kami out really well. She can fight Sakura, and she can fight Yun pretty effectively. So, She's got all the tools. Shut up. She can fight everybody, James Chen. Let's she, be real. She can, she can fight everyone, but I'm saying that Adon probably gives her the most trouble out of all three of those. Mm. So if, if Chai Rithi can make it past Shin right now, yeah. he has a good chance, and Adon will be his biggest word. However... I honestly do think Gen is one of her harder matchups because of the fact that he outclasses her footsies. So Gen has better footsies than Cami. Yes. Hmm. Cami's longest range move is her standing roundhouse and standing forward. Those are her best pokes. Yeah. And um, they're 
both of them non-cancelable, and you can't really get much off of them. It's Stan is kind of risky. Whoa. So we'll see Shin here probably be able... He's probably going to try to keep her out to the best of his ability. Oh, my gosh. What a good read. But if Chai really can get in once, it's going to be very bad for Gen. He just needs to get that one chance to get in. There we go. Okay, he's in. Oh, wow, three hits just like that. Ouch. Counter hit strong in the sweep. Not sure if he went for a throw or something, but here we go. Is, Is this... that going to work? Oh my gosh, that worked. What? Well, now I hate this match even more. <laughs> wow. I would I would not have expected that. To no, I, I did not. I would not have expected that either. And see, this is the thing. This is a, this is a, a very defensive game for Gen. He just wants to maintain this distance. I would like to see standing forward in the hands a little bit more because it covers the jump distance for Kami a little bit better. Wow, Shin always choosing to go air to air versus Kami. Really interesting. He knows the button. Did you see him stand there like yeah, that? That's, oh yeah. That's the fearlessness that you need in footsies. Mm -hmm. I am not going to block. I'm just going to stand there because I know you're not going to hit a button that's going to reach me. Chirithi trying to figure out a way to get it. Oh, he tried to air to air that. Not oh, going to work. Oh. And this, yeah. This could be it. And there is the Kami tendency. I need to get in, so I will jump at the height of my jump, EX Dive Kick. It is one of the is, most telegraphed ways to get in with Kami. Is Sienna about the OCD? Yep. OCD. Looks like it. All right, there Team Canada go. 1 is out. Team Southeast Asia advances BRB. And I think uh, they are going to play Team Korea coming up next.